Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a handy way to jump into time lapse photography. Breno sent over their new TLC 200 Pro time lapse camera, and I was curious about taking it for a spin. I'm not actually well versed on shooting time lapse. I understand the basic principles. You take a certain number of pictures over a certain period of time, and it gives the impression of speeding up or slowing down real time. There are apps for our phones and expensive ways to house and control proper cameras, but I've never played with a camera dedicated to time lapse. The TLC 200 Pro is a mini monolith in a durable plastic shell, and while a bit on the thick side, it's compact enough to be easily mounted to a variety of stands and tripods. It compiles 720p video out of the photos it shoots from its 1.3 megapixel image sensor. The 19mm lens is on an articulated joint with a 112 degree field of view. It's terrifically wide for folks who want to capture landscapes or to put a slightly bolder look on a close-up subject. The front lens assembly can be unscrewed to attach custom lenses, where Breno offers optional 18 to 55 and 24 to 70 millimeter lenses. A 1.4 inch rear screen is used to preview your shot and help you scroll through menu options with two buttons underneath to cycle through controls and options. A circle underneath looks like a scroll wheel, but it's simply the on off switch with a confirmation OK button in the middle. Under the top side port cover, you'll gain access to the SD card slot. The bottom port cover hides a pair of connectors. The first is a jack for connecting an optional shutter release or a motion sensor. The other is a micro USB port to transfer data to a computer or to power the unit. That's one of the TLC's greatest benefits. It's a terrifically flexible gadget powered by either USB or by AA batteries. While it might seem a little old fashioned to use AA's, the low power internals, the modest recording resolution, and and the smaller screen means this thing sips the tiniest amount of juice possible in use. Brino rates the 200 Pro for around 240,000 individual exposures on one set of batteries. Taking one photo every five minutes, Brino estimates the unit should run for well over 40 days. And I totally believe it. I had the TLC for over a month and ran it through a total of about two weeks of shooting time and I'm still showing full bars on battery life. The menus are a bit sparse moving through various options. The major points you'll want to consider are how often you want the unit to take a picture and what the frame rate of your finished video should be. For example, if you take one picture a second and want to render a video at 30 frames per second, then you'll want to shoot for a minute of real world time to end up with two seconds of time-lapse video. Video can be rendered from 30 frames per second all the way down to one frame per second. Your exposure interval can be customized from one shot a second to one shot per day, with any custom time you want in between. There are settings built in to adjust contrast, saturation, sharpness, low light boosts, or shoot HDR, though with a screen this small, it's almost trial and error, where you'll want to shoot some test videos to see how much of an effect there is manipulating these individual options. Even using the defaults though, you're treated to some pretty decent looking videos. I was initially a bit cranky about the 720p resolution, but the set it and forget it nature of the camera quickly overcomes any of those resolution woes. A phone or a tablet, for example, is a really expensive piece of gear to just leave out for long periods of time and won't be able to hang in terms of battery life while accessing the camera. Breno's solution here has has no issues chewing up days and weeks of video. This kind of longevity opens up all kinds of creative options. Construction photography, traffic analysis, horticulture, any field or hobby where having long-term record of progress would be useful. Not to mention the fun factor of speeding up and slowing down time. It's not a style of video production I have a lot of experience with, and the Breno made it really accessible to jump in and play right away. The company has done a decent job of creating a whole system of accessories around their time-lapse cameras. The aforementioned lenses, shutter releases for stop-motion animation, a motion sensor to trigger nature photography or to use for security. They also sent over a waterproof housing, which I was grateful for as one of my setups ran right through some of the only rain we've gotten for the year out here in LA. They even have their own micro USB card reader, allowing you to feed your video directly into an Android phone. Online, you can find the TLC 200 Pro for around $180. I can't say I really appreciated this little camera when I first pulled it out of its box, but this puppy stamina has completely 
completely won me over. It's one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways I've found to get into truly long-term time-lapse video. I'll of course leave links down below to shop the 200 Pro and to find more info on other Brino products. As always, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to catch more reviews like these, and I would not be able to continue producing videos on this channel if you all weren't out there sharing them with your family, friends, and on social media. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.